Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to In Alex is Shook Reaction. And I am super excited because for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new video from ALR Now. This one is actually called Weigh In What I Ate Today Counting Calories and a cook with me. So this is pretty much quintessential ALR, a classic, if you will. We get her stepping on the scale, a little what I ate today moment. Not off track though. I'm assuming this is on track if she's counting the calories, but you can't be so sure even if she is counting the calories. It doesn't mean it's not off track and cook with me. So one of her nasty recipes, we love to see it. Remember when she would like cook certain dishes like her chili or the taco soup and people would recreate it. I remember Zachary Michael making a lot of cooking videos. She doesn't seem to do that anymore, which is unfortunate because I liked watching other people make it. And I actually made the taco soup a long time ago. I think that was like 2019. Hate to bring it up. Oh, let me look this up. Alex is shook. Taco slop. Oh, here it is. I look like a literal child. Oh my gosh. What aged me so much? Girl, it was four, almost five years ago. I'm a bit stuffy today, so I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit weird. I was doing so good, so, so good. But today we're kind of stuffy, so bear with me. Make something so that I can make it again. Anyways, we're here, so we might as well just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Okay, here we go. Yay. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So today is like, hey guys, it's me, Miranda. Girl, <laughs> get out that ukulele. It's about time. Uh, weigh in what I ate today, chit chat, maybe a cook with me moment. But right now I just want to do like the introduction, get a weigh in, in and then I'm ready to eat. So just okay, we're starting off with that weigh in. If there's anything she's ready for, y'all know it's to eat. What's first on the agenda? What's the first meal of the day? Disclaimer, I will be eating in this video. I know in some what I ate today videos, I do oh not my eat. Goodness. But in this one, I probably will be. I do like why does she always do that disclaimer? That should just be on her channel. Like, you're going to see this woman eat a lot. So if you don't like that, go away. To do disclaimers, because I know sometimes people don't like seeing people in general eat, let alone. I don't like seeing the disclaimers. Fat girl. So I really quickly want to put my weigh-in because I am so excited. So here it let is. Let alone a fat girl. Hello. Hello. So we're going to do a weigh-in. Okay. So this is like a happy time weigh-in. She's ready to step on that scale and show us her progress. What's gotten into her? Every now and again, like there's that bright spot where she does lose like 20 pounds or so, but then it goes the way of the birds. We never see it again. Pretty pumped. Hello. Hello. It's pretty. Yes, it is. I've been doing pretty freaking good, you guys. So stepping on, let's see where I'm at. 489 <gasps> pounds. Shut up. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but feel a little bit awkward as she's like celebrating being 489. Like, yes, she is down, but it's just a little bit tone deaf, awkward, strange, cringe, maybe. Maybe cringe is the best descriptor there. Yay, yay, we're 489. Get it, girl, get it. She's going to cry. 489, you guys, I did. It's been 13 years and all you've done is gain about 200 pounds. Oh my God, I've been wanting to reach the 480s and I did it. Now the 470s are coming. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. 489.6. Like you got a little bit to go to get to those 470s, girl. Don't, uh, don't get off track, you know? Stick to the plan. Like, I almost cried. I had like a couple tears in my eyes. I'm very proud of myself. So in total, um, for my highest weight, I am down 82.8 pounds. So that's- She is so over dramatic. And this woman does not get out very much. And when she does, she either just goes shopping or to bingo. You know what I mean? She doesn't travel the world. She doesn't even travel her area. And by that, I mean cities around where she lives. 
is there anywhere to go around Oklahoma City? I know where I live. I mean, there's a lot of cities here uh, in the Northeast, New York, Philly, Baltimore, D.C. You could really go to any of those almost for a day trip. Like I've been on day trips to New York City all the time when I was younger. This woman doesn't go anywhere. She don't go anywhere. She can't really be in a car for that long. Like it was so surprising that she was able to get all the way to Oklahoma in that car with wifey, but she really didn't have a choice. Does she want to go on a plane? Of course, she would have to buy two seats. Is that too embarrassing for her? It is what it is. Nobody's going to, well, there might be someone that makes fun of her on the plane. That does happen. But the workers are not going to make fun of you or talk shit. They're going to get your seatbelt extender and try to make it safe for you, girl. Amazing. And then since the beginning of this year, I'm down 28.2 pounds. I'm almost down 30 pounds. Like, that's incredible. Like, I told myself in the beginning of this year, like, I need to do it because I'm 33. I am not getting any younger. You're not a spring chicken anymore. And just look at Chantal because that could be your future. Do you want to be like her? Like, it's really not that far away, girl. 33. She's 40. Seven years. So you have to get it together now so that you don't end up like Chantal. All of these health issues and you're just ignoring them so that you can live your life. And by live your life, I mean sit on the couch and watch TikTok while your husband ignores you in the other room. Yikes. So you don't want to end up like Chantal, girl. Get it together now. It really is now or never, but people have been saying that for years, now or never, but we're here in 2024 and she's still over 400 pounds. Not much has changed and she's still going. Yes, I'm young at heart. I could be kind of childish. You guys know that a little immature here and there, but deep down, like for real, for real. Here and there, girl. The girl's getting old. Like I got the gray hair to show for it. So instead of just like, trying to be perfect overnight i slowly just like not gonna happen for a not gonna happen right well at least she has this brief moment of clarity i feel like alr has gone from the mind of a 14 year old back in the destiny era to now she has the mind of like a 17 year old <laughs> right when will she start acting like an adult i don't know but when she says she's matured, I think she has. But it's like that, fourteen to, from 14 to 17. <laughs> There's maturity there for sure. It's a little over two months. It was working. It was doing good. But now, you know, I was like, hey, a couple weeks ago, let's kick it up a notch. Like, I want to be aware of how many calories I'm eating. So I Yeah, girl, got to kick it up. And measure all my food. My goal is to stay below 2,000 calories. And this video is just showing you guys what I decide to eat today. I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason for most of my meals. It's just don't eat junk junk. Like, I'm not sitting around eating candy. Trust me. It has been. Yeah, like some potato chips. I have to admit, I do have potato chips pretty often. I mean, I get like a single serving bag. Well, they're like three servings, aren't they? <laughs> Let's just say I don't get a party size bag. Okay. <laughs> so good. I love me some potato chips, though. That's what's hardest for me is avoiding the junk food because I grew up eating it. Like, I don't want to take away from my mom because she cooked dinner, like a nice dinner, nutritious every night, every weeknight. But I did have a lot of junk food, too, in my free time. And I was always overweight, not always obese, but overweight for sure. I kind of wish I didn't grow up on junk food, so it wouldn't be so difficult for me to drop it as an adult, but the past is the past. And when you're dealing with a kid who won't eat anything except like little bites, mini muffins, <laughs> girl, you're telling on yourself, you have to, they have to eat something. Hard. I do want me some candy sometimes. So like the other day, I allowed myself to have a Same. serving of sour gummy worms. It was so good. It was like the brain trolley or something. Like it tasted like heaven. Because normally I would allow myself to have those things every single day. But since I'm only allowing myself to have them like in moderation, it's like when I finally do have them, I'm like, wow, let's savor this and like really enjoy it. So today I am staying home. So everything I will be eating will be at home. There will be no. I feel like that's not a bad idea because you don't want to get to the point where you're just like F it and you down an entire bag of gummy worms, right? Which I've done before. I mean, it's not, they don't really give you that much TBH, but if she wants to avoid that 
just have a few. If she can do that, I find it a little hard to believe that she can just have a serving of candy and then put it away and not think about it all night, nagging her. Oh, I want more. I want more. I want more. But we shall see. She's still going strong, I guess, on this under 2,000 calories. I didn't have much hope, as you guys have seen from me. Uber takeout. The only time I allow myself to eat like restaurant food is if I physically go there myself. So if I'm with my mom or family or okay. friends, today is not one of those days. But I do want to film of what I ate today. Like, Is she getting those the salmon? <laughs> I feel like whenever you're on a diet, or at least when I am, nowadays when I'm at a restaurant, I don't really worry about what I order because I am happier with my weight at this moment. So I just kind of, when I'm at home, I watch what I eat because I still want to lose a few more pounds, but I'm relatively happy, at least a lot happier with my weight right now. So I just eat whatever at a restaurant. But when I was being really strict, always went for the salmon. Like every restaurant has like the salmon dish for the people on a diet or something. Get the salmon, girl. The next time I go out to eat, just to show you guys kind of like how I do it. Not everyone will agree with me, but I will say that what I am doing is working. So let's get into my first meal. Okay, so my first meal, I'm having one of these sweet Italian chicken sausages that I'm just cutting up. I'm going to cook in a pan, which I am using Pam, which is zero calories. Okay. Sausage is 110. <laughs> Speaking of Pam, when I do use like actual oil, I will weigh it on my scale before I use it because it does have calories. So I also have... Oh my gosh, I don't know why, but that was so triggering the way that she like slammed that down. <laughs> um, some leftover rice, which is two servings, so 320 calories. And then obviously my typical Ugh. soy sauce. We have some... In this is like anti-ASMR. Garlic, sriracha. It's just my go-to. It's what I like. And I'm also going to have one egg. And it's also triggering for her hands to like touch everything. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I get it now. <laughs> People would always say how whenever she goes to Walmart or Target, she touches everything and it gets on people's nerves. I get it. I get it now. So it's going to be like a fried rice moment. Stop, stop. Okay, so my sausage has been cooking for a bit. So I'm going to add my rice now. I also have, obviously, my mint. Oh my God, I'm getting rice everywhere. I'm a messy cooker. One thing. I feel like we're used to watching like foodie cook. So this seems like a tiny, tiny portion, you know? That, uh, if y'all want to know about me, I'm very messy when I cook. But anyways, yeah, I also have my minced garlic up in there. So I am going to add just a little bit of messy, sriracha. Messy, girl. A little soy bit of soy sauce. sauce here. What are you pouring on my head? Soy sauce. <laughs> Do you guys know that? I think it's from the Amanda show, which is like tarnished now. Ew. I like can't watch it, but I have memories, uh, happy memories of watching the Amanda show as a kid with my sister and just dying laughing to know now what these kids were going through behind the scenes. It just shatters that breaks my heart. And then just move it around as such. Okay. So now that the rice is all warmed up and cooked, well, it was already cooked. You know what I mean? I'm going to grab an egg here. Yes. And then I literally just want to Okay, scrambled. egg fried rice. So Sitch if I could change anything up. about this, I wish I had some like green onion. Oh my God, that'd be so good. Okay, you guys. So it is finished. Now I'm going to put it in my bowl. That doesn't look half bad, honestly. So this is 500 calories in total, but that is a perfect amount for my- It doesn't look like that much food for 500 calories, but maybe it is filling. There is meat, there is eggs, so. First meal, that's usually around where I keep it. Okay guys, so I haven't even tried it yet, but I wanna let you know that I'm also gonna be having a A&W, this is the zero sugar root beer, so good. This stuff oh my gosh, I love that. I just drank that on the live stream. It's so good. Ugh. Not taste like diet soda at all. Mm. All right, let's try a bite. Oh, and a lot did of she buy like, that because of me? I use plastic silverware. Like Am I it is literally asked that every single time I use these. These are not plastic. They're just uh, black. So yeah, there is okay. just like silverware. Mmm. Happy dance. Plastic. Well, this is delicious. Silverware. Mm -hmm. The worst is like, I don't know. I just really don't like plastic silverware. Plastic knives? Like, what are you supposed to do with that? Here's a plastic knife. Give me a break. 10 out of 10. ASMR. 
I feel like we have to have an ASMR segment in each one of my videos. How about no? That would be like the worst. It's anti ASMR when she does it. Oh, she tasty. Okay, guys. So next meal is pretty simple. I'm gonna have some turkey meatballs, some broccoli, and some of this classico roasted garlic. These will be in the air fryer. Okay, look at ALR go. I'm going to cook these, and then I'm gonna add the sauce and have these two things cook together, and then I'm gonna throw the meatballs in. And I'm feeling this cooking moment from our girl. Is she doing any exercises? I think she should do like mobility exercises, like something specifically for super morbidly obese people, just so that she doesn't get hurt or work with somebody to focus mostly on mobility. Have it all cooked together. I'll show you step by step, but it's super simple. All right, so I'm cooking my broccoli. I just really simply bring it to a boil and then before it gets too soft, which I honestly don't mind soft, but before it gets too soft, I simply just strain it. And then over here, we do have the meatballs in the air fryer. Yeah, I don't like it too soft either. It's got to be hard, you know, or else what are you going to do with it? Girl, not that. <laughs> okay, so I got all the water out. And now a serving of this is 125 grams. So I set the container on there. This is honestly the easiest way for me to do it. Is she going to be able to keep this up? I mean, this is a lot of tracking, right? Weighing the stuff. I guess in her situation, for lack of a better word, <laughs> she does have to kind of weigh everything out and count everything to make sure that she's sticking within this range so that she does lose weight. Versus when I do weight loss, I never weigh anything out and I still lose weight. But I'm able to do the intuitive eating where I don't think Amber really is. Maybe she counts this as like intuitive, but she is keeping track of the calories at the same time. I just don't like weighing stuff out like that. It just is a time suck. I want to eat. <laughs> so we're just going to wait until this says 100 and negative 25. Will she be able to keep this up? You know, I like that idea, though, of putting the whole container on and then just judging versus the weight going down. It's a good idea. So because that means that's how much I use. You don't have to like. So I'm pretty good at like not dirty going over, anything usually. So 120. So I'll just leave it there. It's pretty close. At just eyeballing it. I've done this long enough, but you can never be too sure. So that's why. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be the sauce that'll affect your diet, girl like being in the habit of actually weighing my food. That little bit so of sauce. I did add some tapatio to the sauce because yeah, girl. a little spice to it. So now we I'm need a kick. We need done, a kick. Which they should be by now. This is giving like classic ALR moment. She's in the kitchen. But you know what would make it so much better if there was a side character walking around the background, popping in to say hi. I just miss those moments of Eric making a funny face in the background. Or back looking so sad, just trudging along in the back. Oh, <laughs> poor Beck. But Beck is doing so much better now. She has a new girly pop and she's looking cute. It's supposed to go up to 165, but in my brain, I want it to go up to like 175, which it is. So I'm gonna try another one just in case. She's got to make sure that is cooked because meat is scary, guys. It is scary. <laughs> I mean, this is responsible. I don't do that. Do I take a meat thermometer to my meatballs in the air fryer? No. Aren't they already cooked? Yes, these are finished. So now I'm going to... Because she usually gets the ones that are like already cooked, so you don't have to worry. Like they're not raw. They're frozen, fresh frozen. Just kidding. Put the meatballs. Maybe those aren't. In here. But... I don't use a meat thermometer. This is such a simple and low calorie meal. Like I'm telling you, it is so low calorie. It's going to shock you. Really? But I can't wait to share once Maybe it's I'll try it. So I'm just going to let that probably cook for like two minutes, I would say. I like meatballs. I would prefer some noodles though, but maybe she's trying to stay away from all the carbs. Just everything get it. meat I get together it. and marinate and all that. Okay, you guys, so for this huge bowl of food is literally only Ew. 313 calories, 233 for the meatballs, 30 for the broccoli, and then only 50 calories for the sauce. I have never really had broccoli with marinara, like spaghetti sauce like that. I'm sure it's not bad. And then, of course, it goes very well with meatballs. 
But the way that that looks, it doesn't look very appetizing to me at all. I'm sure if I was eating that, I would have it separate broccoli on a plate with just salt and pepper, maybe some butter or something. And then the meatballs with the sauce separately. Add some shredded cheese on top if you need the cheese. <laughs> Okay, as you guys can tell, I love my food in a bowl. Like, I love any type of food that I can just make and put in a bowl. I love That's because she can sit on the couch and watch TV and just hold the bowl easily. If you have, like, those flimsy plates, paper plates, sometimes you can't really do that for several reasons. It'll leave, like, a stain. Yeah, because they leak a little bit or the condensation. So a bowl's perfect for our girl to just eat on the couch <laughs> bowls i already know this is gonna be good because bowls. i got this like literally last night <laughs> mm. oh my god this is so i want her to respond to becky having a new girl like is she fuming i feel like she wanted becky to be completely miserable good i'm not gonna lie to you this is the best frozen broccoli i have ever had in my life because usually when i buy a frozen broccoli like it's only ever like the gross little stems it's never the actual like floret of it but this one is actual broccoli floret so 10 out of 10. ew just the so stems hot. I just it down. Mm -mm 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 -mm. hot let me get a drink real quick so a new drink that it's I making me crave chinese broccoli i always bring that up i always bring that up but i love that chinese broccoli loving lately and i'm not even so like a good green tea girly it is diet green tea mixed berry and the brand lipton it is so good some cheese would be mixed so good on berry top of this. tea what is your guys's favorite vegetable looks pretty good i would say potatoes mashed potatoes <laughs> with gravy that counts minus a potato <laughs> Oh, tater tots scallop. she took mine potatoes are so good so versatile it just depends how you cook them they could be really high calorie <laughs> french fries anyone yum cajun fries Ooh, i've been craving those too i haven't given into that craving though the potato the mashed potato baked potato french fry you know it's just never ending <laughs> but outside of that <laughs> i do love me some onion and i love me some broccoli Honestly, I've always been a vegetable girly pop, and I already know. Let the fat shaming commence. It wasn't- <laughs> Yeah, with the veggies. She was talking mostly about fried veggies, french fries, tater tots. Does she like onion rings? Now those are good. I don't really like onions that much. I know it's like necessary for a lot of recipes, but when I get a sub or something, I do not put raw onion on it. I don't like that. But I do like onion rings for some reason. It just tastes completely different. Tell like my older years, I've actually been like enjoying fruit. Like if you would have asked me as a kid, do you want <laughs> fruit or vegetable? I would have literally said vegetable. Okay, guys. So the next thing I'm going to be eating is this Amy's bowl. It's she doesn't like fruit. I'm a fruit girly. I'm a sweet tart. I love sweet. I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> love me an apple strawberries blueberries any type of berries really also cantaloupe when it's juicy is so good but it's really hit or miss with the cantaloupe sometimes it's not that good at all and then it's super disappointing kiwi makes my mouth itchy <laughs> chili mac i love amy's and i always thought this one just sounded so weird and then a chili few mac. weeks ago i tried it after like years of dismissing it and y'all it's one of my favorites it's only 410 are those good? Those are the most expensive frozen meals that you can get at the grocery store. My grocery store had them for $7.30 a piece. And then I looked at Target of all places and it was $5 and some change. So I thought that was weird because Target's usually not good for groceries. Like I try to avoid buying groceries at Target because the price is... But some things, like the salad kits and the Amy's frozen dinners, I guess, are cheaper. Calories. And you guys, I do add some tapatio to it because I do like the spice. But Ew. this is so freaking good. I recommend It doesn't look great. I was looking at the picture on the box. That looked good. That looks like something that came back up, if you know what I mean. Mend it. 
TV dinners aren't healthy. But I'm sure it's I will okay. say that Amy's like, is a healthier version. Plus, like I've said before, I'm very much it? just focusing on staying under calories and not ordering takeout. And with my Amy's bowl, I will be having... Oh. I mean, girl, it's macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Any way you splice it, it's macaroni and cheese. Water. Let's get a water. So I am trying to drink more water because... I Wait, I want to peek at her fridge. Okay, yeah, we have to pause it at the fridge. If you don't, you're missing big key moments and Easter eggs. <laughs> so she's got the soda, lots of soda down here, right? This is also soda, I guess, sparkling ice, kind of. Vitamin water, the zero sugar lemonade. I approve that, love that. This is that new tea she had. I would maybe like to try that. Sprite Zero, Sunkiss Zero, Pepsi Zero, Dr. Pepper Zero, and a and Zero. <laughs> Lots of diet soda. Is that what she's drinking all day, every day? She's just grabbing a bottle of water for the camera. I mean, it says it all when she only has one little row of water, but 10 plus rows of soda and or carbonated beverages. I will be having a water. So I am trying to drink more water because I know you guys told me that I need to. Don't worry. I hear you guys. Girl, Nestle, really? Okay, guys. So I actually just got done playing Mario Party with some friends of mine. And while doing so, we all had a little bit of snacks. I actually took a picture of what I had. So that's what you're seeing here. I had a sun-kissed Colby Jack cheese and some salami. So it actually came out to 535 calories. She was hanging out with friends. Hold on, roll it back. Is she drunk in this clip? Two, don't worry, I hear you guys. Okay, guys, so I actually just got done playing Mario Party with some friends of mine. She definitely was drinking. You can just tell from the way that she looks. And while doing so, we all had a little bit of snacks. I actually took a picture of what I had. Buzz so balls. Here. I had a sun-kissed Colby Jack cheese and some salami. So it actually came out to 535 calories for the snack. I'm done eating for the night, so I had 1,758 calories, which might- What about the buzz ball, girl? You can tell she had something to drink. Why is she lying? Goal is to stay below 2,000. We know, we don't care. I feel like my sweet spot, the spot that makes me really happy is when I am like in the 1600s or the 1700s, so I did- She's a law. Really good today in that regard. So if I drink anything else for the rest of the day, it will be water. There were multiple times today where I wanted to order takeout that is how it goes every single day for me it is a day yeah girl uh drink that water down you might need it for the morning we know we know really feeling where i just want to order something whether it just be like a bag of chips and a snickers or i want to order a large fry from mcdonald's like what about a snickers ice cream bar those are a good hidden gem <laughs> mcdonald's french fries girl and she would just order that, right, by itself. That feels like a waste to me, although she doesn't need to buy, like, a whole value meal. I have a random... They're not even a value anymore. I got a rage on that. Cravings multiple times a day. So when that happens, what I do is I simply remove myself wherever I am when that happens, and I truly feel that urge. I'll remove myself from whatever I'm doing, and I'll start doing something different. So a good example of that okay. is, like, an hour ago, I had this weird urge to come over me where I was like, oh my God, I want some Cheez-Its. She's trying to schmooze us. She's saying all the right things, the way in, in the beginning, she's down weight. It seems like she's on the right track, but I still remain skeptical for sure. No idea where it came from. You know, if I wasn't like really trying to lose weight right now, I would have ordered them. And when I had that feeling, Jesus. I was actually journaling. So I stopped journaling completely. I stood up and I started doing the dishes. So it yeah, you know our girl would go on to a grocery app and just order cheeses. Just helps me because like I'm removing myself from doing something to starting to do something else. I'm surprised she made all these meals because when you look at her fridge, it's mostly drinks. I guess everything that she made was frozen for the most part. That's our girl with the frozen food. Gotta love it. At least she's cooking something, right? And for some reason, it's just like switches my brain and I'm able to be more focused on what I just started doing because I really do have a short attention span. So by changing tasks, it helps in a multitude of ways. But anyways, it's just another day that I was successful at staying. To get your mind off the cheese, it's, oh, she is a piece of work for sure. 
and under my goal and saying no to taking out my phone and ordering on the Uber app. So I'm very proud of that. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye. It's sort of interesting when you look at ALR and see the content that she puts out and the problems that she deals with while the world is burning. It's all about Amber Lynn and her issues with food. She really lives in such a small world between her apartment, bingo, her family's homes. As we said, she doesn't get out much. I don't know if she even knows what's going on in the country, let alone the world. But that was surely quintessential ALR. As y'all saw, it seems as though she is on track. But I still remain very, very skeptical that this is going to pan out in the end. As it's hard to believe anything that she really says at this point. It is funny the way that she presents stuff to us as if she is some sort of health and nutrition expert and how she was so giddy she almost cried being 489 pounds. I mean, if I was 489, I would cry too, but not like that. People still look at her weigh-ins as questionable because she doesn't show the actual scale. What do you guys think of Amber's What I Ate Today Today? today, today. Will she be able to stick to this sub 2000 calorie journey? Eh, I'm not really seeing the vision. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, everyone.